Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. It's been a few weeks since I've uploaded the video comparing these two systems with the Celeron N4000 processor and the Intel Celeron N4100. So this being the dual core and the four core variants of the same processor basically. And in that video I mentioned that this had removable storage and it had an eMMC storage on an M.2 drive and that is this storage here. Now the reason why I mentioned that is because M.2 storage, uh, that's just the form factor. Uh, it's the eMMC that matters. And so this actually uses SATA 3 to transfer over, but the eMMC is basically about as fast as an SD card. It's very, very slow. Most of these low-end budget systems are that are under that $250 range, where they have 32 or 64 gigs of storage, that's what they typically have is that eMMC storage. And in that video I mentioned that I really felt like this storage was hobbling the system because not only was it EMC, eMMC storage that was slow, it seemed extra slow. So I did the pass mark test and I have it up here uh, in front of you. And initially, I believe the score on the Dell with the N4100 was like 800, whereas the score on the Lenovo was over 1000. Now I have gone ahead and upgraded this. I made a bit of a mistake. I wasn't paying attention to when I bought the storage and bought it on Amazon and it was slow boat from China where I'm used to Amazon Prime stuff and so it took several weeks to get here. Um, and so uh, it, it is just SATA, a SATA 3, so not an NVMe M.2 drive, but a SATA 3. An NVMe will not work in the system. It has to be SATA 3 if you're looking for that. But uh, the important thing is, is now this storage, instead of getting us a score of 800 points, it is now getting over 4,000, so four times as fast as this system. And it definitely wakes this system up. It makes this system feel like a more powerful computer than this one. Storage is so important. The speed of your storage is so important to your system. And this one has always felt adequate to this computer. I still use it. I recently went on a trip with this computer, loaded up with a bunch of movies. Uh, the great thing about this is with the screen turned off and just running videos to a, a, a big screen television, uh, I was able to get like 13 hours of battery life plus out of this system because it wasn't having to drive its own screen. Your screen on your laptop is one of the biggest battery, battery drains, especially on a system like this. And then uh, watching movies doesn't really tax the system very hard. So it was great. Everybody appreciated it. Uh, we had some bad weather on the trip and so we were stuck inside with uh, how many kids? There were 13, 14 kids there um, and so it gave us a chance to entertain the kids when we had some, some bad weather. So anyways, these are still great. This is very adequate for basic computer use. If you're just Facebook, email, watching some YouTube videos, great system, but upgrading the storage on the Dell with that N4100 definitely made a difference. Now, the problem with that is this computer was over $100 used more than this computer and almost $200 more than this computer new. And then I had to spend like 60 bucks on the, uh, on the SSD. I would not call that a worthwhile investment on the system, namely because that storage can't really be used in a lot of newer systems. A lot of things are going to NVMe storage, which runs off your PCI Express lanes, is significantly faster, is a lot more readily available and cheaper now than SATA 3 M.2 drives, easier to find than SATA 3 M.2 drives. And so I, I wouldn't have made that investment except for this very specific video. In fact, I'm going to be taking it out and putting this one back in and reusing that hopefully in something else or selling it or something else because it just, the value of it being in this computer just isn't there. It's such a big price increase over the value of the laptop. So anyways, just want to point that out. Uh, definitely made the system a lot faster to have proper memory, uh, excuse me, proper storage in it. Uh, I would still buy this computer every single day of the week over this one, uh, at least this processor, because it simply is significantly cheaper and the slight performance gains you get out of this one uh, just are not worth the added cost. 
Anyways, if you have any questions about these systems, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. I'll always do my best to answer those. If it's a year or two after this video has come out, I might be a little bit slower to answer those just because we've moved on to newer and better things. But uh, again, I still try my best to answer those. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day. I do have some uh, affiliate links down in the description if you want to help me support this channel. And uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. I hate saying that, but it does seem to help. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.